Hello everyone. Welcome to Arduino and My Robot course. So this is chapter four. In this chapter, we'll be learning breadboard. And I feel uh, everybody, if not everybody, but most of the people would have seen it. So this is a breadboard. This looks like a bread and you cannot eat it. But this is a board that we'll be using for connections. Okay. So this blue line, outer line, here is a negative and this red line shows a positive sign terminal. So this is a positive point. This sign plus and minus will be already put on that board. It will be there on the board. So you need not to worry about that. So this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal. So if you plug anything, if you see any plug, there are two pins. One is positive and another is negative. At one in one pin, the electrons go or the electricity flow and from other pin it comes out okay so here these pins are for vertical connections so this all the pins a b c d e so these number one a b c d e these pins have same connection number two these pins have same connection for three a b c d e these have same connection that means if you either connect anything at this 3a or you put it at 3b or at 3c or 3d or 3e all will be same connection similarly on to this sides okay so here we have 30 things and same way you can see on to the bottom side here is a plus one and here is a minus sign don't worry when we'll doing the connection will when we'll do that all those things we'll be getting it more clear but as of now you just remember this is called as breadboard so when you open it, you can see some thing like that. These are the strips. So as I said, this complete line is one, one. You put it here or here or here. It will be just one circuit. It is divided in some cases. It is divided into half from here. We'll also know that if it is there half or not, because it will be already mentioned on that breadboard. So you see it is like that. So this is the real breadboard, sorry, breadboard. So one, this connection is positive. This is negative. And this is basically for power line. Okay? Main power source will be connected on this either extreme right or left end. As I said, these are same, right? These, this particular A, B, C, D, E, this is same. So because you see all are connected to one single metal strip. So if you put any bulb, one end at a or b or c or d or e all will be acting as the same okay as i said in some cases there is a gap here so no need to worry about that you will be connecting it perfectly fine so you will not have to worry so these are the metal power supply pins that are put at the right or left corners and these are at center so this is just to understand how things are there so you put your pin here or wire here and these clamps will hold your wire. Okay. So now let's understand. So as I said, this one will be plus and one will be minus. So I connected this end to here. Okay. Positive and one end here. So you see this is a switch. This is an LED and this is a resistor. So resistor is to control the amount of current that is going inside this bulb okay so out of this one is a positive terminal and one is a negative terminal for any component always remember we'll need at least these many uh, uh, things for our basic project that is at least three things one led one switch and one resistor and definitely one battery that will be a power source to connect okay so we have two things one is positive and one is negative so our LED bulb will have one positive end and one negative end. Suppose this is a negative, the red one. So one leg is on negative. So if I connect here, okay, you see all these things are marked green. So if I connect to one pin, so this whole line will be having same charge, negative, negative current in this line. And if we connect here, this whole line will be positive, okay. It does not matter if you connect it here. It does not matter. If you connect it here, oh, this whole line will become positive. So you connect it one bulb here and then you connect other leg here. So 
you see this green line as i said this green line is completely one line so this switch has four pin one here one here one here and one here these four legs will have four pins okay one is this second is this third fourth so one pin is connected to this same leg in which the bulb is connected and the other leg is connected to a resistor this is connected to a resistor and the other end of the resistor is connected to the other terminal of the battery so or you can also say it this way i connected my one switch uh, black wire on this first line and red wire on the second line so black wire goes to one end here and red wire goes to here so this bulb will be connected so here i have removed the switch so bulb should be connected one end to the red and one end to the black so this is going to red you see this is this is red line and this is going to red and from here it is going to black this is black okay so every component means the final start and should be black and the end other end should be red you can choose any color for now i'm just taking it black and red okay one end is positive and another end is negative so thank you and in next video i'll show you how to uh, connect these wires uh, live project will be done and we'll see how to do that thank you